welcome back my loyal subjects of funk to this let's funkin play of um, uh, so Dynasty Warriors 8 and we're on to the Battle of Chibi the famous Battle of Chibi and we're gonna use Zo Yun and I, do, I thought I had to train this guy up you know but um, it turns out that he is already on a level 18 so we just need to equip our skills and we'll go for a Morsu Springs we'll go for a health boost we'll go for an attack boost and we will go for um, what's nullification resistance against elemental health springs adds a bonus to your health gorge recovery um, that is a good one to have increases chances that items will appear on the battle so we'll go for health springs r right now I think yeah oh no maybe we should go for a defense boost because we need to level that up so we'll go with that um, oh yes we do have his next weapon the uh, dragon tail which is nice or oh, the dragon fang there what have we got here yeah it's only a level one though the dragon fang so we'll go for the dragon tail and we will uh, begin the battle this is going to be a fun battle lads we're only level 18 so we are going to have a hard time of it I imagine but it's good because last session was so easy. So you are Master Jugalian, the famed strategist. Master Zhou Yu. All is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. I think this is more of a um, a standard battle in that we can just slug it out without uh, worrying about people dying and stuff. I think, but we'll find out. But it's nice to play Zhou Yun. And we played as Zhang Fei for the last time last session um, because we can't use him again after this. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves and to us. Blunt Cao Cao's momentum and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. Advantageous to us all. <laughs> but that is not the entire story. Don't want to skip any of these, because it is part of the main story. Unlike Wu, Master Liu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. He certainly does. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold is your true goal. Come now. We cannot expect all secrets to be shared. Can we... Not turn a blind eye? <laughs> well, this alliance would certainly be good for Wu. Good. I like Wu. Uh, they've gr grown on me a lot. Bit of an underdog. The battle shall take place at Chirbi. We shall use our intellect and courage to sink Cao Cao's great fleet. Yeah, boy! Let's get balls deep in some action then. Joe Yu is a perceptive man. I wonder how much he sees of the truth behind this alliance. Hmm. But for now, this is the only path we can take. We must claim victory here first. Before all else. That should be it. I'm itching to uh, batter some enemies, and particularly with Zhou Yu, who I have not used. Oh, cool, we didn't even have a starting thing for this one, which is good, because thank God we put our weapons in place and stuff and items, otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to do it. It's so not as strong as. Oh, God, he's fast, man! Whoa! Let's use his special. Jesus. I know his specials are less formulaic than they were in in the uh, the old one. Jesus Christ, lads. This guy's class. Should have used him a bit more. You can see how his uh, spear bends as well. Let's go down here and kill this guy while uh, we still have times two on attacks. Quite impressive. I shall lend you a hand. 
Oh. Almost makes me want to record this in a... Oh, shut. Sure. Here we go. Yes. I like how he's, uh, his costume's actually a little bit retro, like the old uh, number three ones, Shaho Dunes. I like that. One lads. Oh yeah, Pang Tong is um is a shoe officer who swaps sides during this battle. Oh shit man, what's this? Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. Wasn't there an, an officer around here? Sima Yi. Yeah, he's the enemy uh He's Sao Tsao's uh strategic planner, but I think he's got ambitions of his own. So I think he eventually becomes at least temporary ruler of uh Woo. Can we not get a special power up here? Oh, I didn't get him. What's going to happen here now then? That's pretty cool. Shit, man. So we need to get up this ladder, lads. Ah, please, leave this task to us. We should have got the points for that, but we didn't. But we still got the experience points that were uh, left behind, that were dropped. Oh, Pang Tong is in danger. You can see him on the enemy ship. I can't remember if he dies in this or if he gets crushed by boulders later on. Pang Tong's another good strategist. See, the Shu would always have decent strategists, lads. Oh shit, look at this. Let's roll. Let's go and get Pang Tong safe as houses. There he is. We did. He done all right against Zhang Liao. Got quite a bit of his health down there. Cool, nice. Yeah, I think he's going to come back later on. Temporarily withdrawn. Here we go. Oh dear. Shu Shu has the defected, I think. Another obstacle 
Very nice. Three hundred and fifty killed. I'm looking for a level up, get us to level nineteen. Ah, oh, there he is. It's because we wanted to swap him for a different. Another one who's going to temporarily withdraw. Oh shit. The hell? Whoa. Doing class, lads, again. Just shows that our. Uh, we don't particularly need to. Um, oh, Guan Hai. Here, as always. I like him. I'd like to do a campaign playing as Guan Hai. Oh, shit, didn't know someone behind me. Cool. What is that he's got? Is he using a shield? Oh man, fuck sir, kill him. A little bit of cow pee here as well. The uh, opportunities for levels up in this are absolutely immense. Oh, he's, he's indestructible when he's doing his cow pee, will not return to the battle. Don't know which way to go and who to defeat. So many different possibilities here. I love how everybody's on half health. What's the defeat conditions? Right, okay, so it's alright if he escapes, sort of thing. The hell? Nice one. We are absolutely hammering them, by the way, lads. Thanks to that fire attack. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, man. That was immense. How many we just took out? Let's go and see if we can just take out um, Tao Tao then. Move south and take him the fuck out. There's only two remaining up north. It's not worth possibly losing the battle if he gets away. But I think there's more to this than uh, simply defeating him. Yeah, that fire attack was an absolute beast. There's Zhu Ron. Oh, he's gone. 
Here we go. Shit, man. Oh, my God. Nice one. Oh, we didn't get the... Didn't get the other stuff out of it. Shit. That was another fast battle, lads. Shall be the beacons to light your I wonder who we get to use next. We must move on, my lord. The next battle... Has already it was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Much faster than the old Dynasty Warrior battles. What? You're leaving already? Faster paced for a generation that wants My everything apologies. faster and easier. I am sure we shall meet again. Uh, boys. Right, the rigour of these great men was reflected with the river, as was their wisdom displayed by the flames, that bloody blah, blah. The alliance between Liu Bei and Su Quan had earned a great victory over Cao Cao, leaving them with little choice but to halt his expansion self. Wonderful. Although simply driving off Cao Cao was not the great leap forward that Liu Bei needed to take. Zhu Ge Lian looked for an opening with Wu and ordered his men to occupy Jing province. Is that the only province we have? Oh, nice. Liu Bei asked to borrow Jing province from Wu until he could obtain a land of his own. Although Sun Quan disagreed at first, he later persuaded due to the uh, intervention of Lu Su. And also Liu Bei was able to obtain a foothold of his own in Jing province. Nice. Around the same time, Pang Tong, Huang Zong and Wei Yang came to serve Liu Bei as well. Oh yes, this is for the next battle, lads. Can't wait for a bit of Wei Yan. Looking at the to take next step forward, Liu Bei continued to amass strength. In addition, as their relations with Wu continued to strengthen, a marriage proposal was brought before Liu Bei. And Liu Bei was also married to Sun Quan's a younger sister, Sun Shangxing. Oh, cool, a cutscene. Get the fuck in. Wei Yan, that's who we're playing as lads. Fucking love him. You don't see as much as you think you do. Just take a good look at them. Those are the faces of young people who <laughs> love. You pay. Happy. Excellent. He is not half dumb though, Wei Yan. Wang Zong grew on me as well, with his big cleaver esque weapon. So I am tempted by him. But I think um I think we'll go away Yanks, he is the dog's bollocks. So far all is according to plan. But my lord, the next step I fear will be the hardest for you to take. Okay, two years passed since Liu Bei obtained Jing province. Cao Cao continued to expand his territory to the north while Sun Quan solidified his hold on Jing Dong. Suddenly the opportunity Liu Bei had been waiting for finally presented itself. He had received a request for reinforcements from Jiang, Louis Zhang in Hanzong and who had attacked something. Liu Bei was <laughs> saw this chance to enter Zhang, Liu Zhang's territory of Basha and seize the land for himself. If he could do so, then he could realise that Zhuge Lian's split, a plan to split the land into three kingdoms. Divided the kingdom into three, it was an ambition pla ambitious plan for him to control, to complete for control of the land together with Cao Cao and Sun Quan. However, would he be able to overtake his own relative Liu Zhang? Was that the path that he uh, was destined to follow? While Liu Bei struggled with his decision, Pang Tong continued to urge him on for the sake of the land and its people. 
Once Liu Bei made up his mind, he advanced his army on the Chengdu in Yi province. Looks interesting, lads. Together, Pang Tong, Huang Zong, and Wei Yan prepared for battle in order to claim a land. So, this is where we're going to leave it, lads. We're going to use one of these three. It's either between them two, but probably Wei Yan. So, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>